Hey everyone, it's Glenn again from Subtle Breakthroughs. If you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel in 2024, you need to watch this. I'm sharing the real story of my channel, Subtle Breakthroughs, the mistakes I made, the lessons I learned, and the things I wished I'd done differently from the beginning. Watch this video to avoid my regrets and fast track your success. When I started Subtle Breakthroughs, it was all about sharing my faith and connecting with other Christians. But over the time, the channel evolved into something much bigger, I guess. I wanted to share more than just my beliefs. I wanted to share life experiences, online work tips, and the things that helped me find success and fulfillment. My channel started as a place to share my prayers and Bible verses a sort of a guide for meditation and reflection. To grow my audience, I joined a few YouTube communities where creators collaborated and helped each other get views. This worked for a while, but it was exhausting. I realized that I was spending more time promoting my channel than actually creating meaningful content. Plus, the niche felt too narrow and limiting, so I took a year-long break to reassess. When I returned, I was excited about a new affiliate market marketing business. I started sharing videos from Zoom meetings and trainings, hoping to build my team. Surprisingly, my audience grew like crazy, but I soon discovered I wasn't passionate about this kind of content. As eager as I was to succeed in business, it didn't align with my true purpose for the channel. I still work for my affiliate marketing, yes, but I realized that it is not for this channel. Finally, I decided to focus on content that truly helped my audience and made me happy. I wanted to share more about my personal journey as a digital marketer, a Christian, and an online entrepreneur. This blend of faith, business, and personal development resonated deeply with my goal for this channel. I had finally found my niche and I was ready to grow. As you may have observed, my YouTube channel journey has been full of twists and turns and I've definitely learned a lot along the way. Looking back, there are some things I wished I'd understand from the very beginning. Recognizing this would have saved me a lot of time and frustrations, and I hope sharing them with you would help you avoid the same pitfalls. Here are the key things I wish I knew before I started my YouTube channel. The first one is niche clarity from the start. I wish I had taken the time to truly define my niche from the very beginning. Jumping from prayers to affiliate marketing to personal development created a confusing message for my audience and also with the YouTube algorithm. It would have saved me a lot of time and effort if I'd focused on my passion for faith, entrepreneurship, and personal growth early on. Number two is the power of authentic content. Sharing content from meetings I attended somehow helped, but it had created a confusion to my audience. I wish I'd known the importance of creating content that genuinely reflects my values and interests. I'd rather create and upload fewer videos that I have created from scratch. While collaborating with other creators can be helpful, I wish I had focused more on creating more videos and on building a genuine community around my content. Engaging with my audience, responding to comments, and fostering discussions would have strengthened my channel's foundation. I also wish I hadn't been so afraid of making mistakes for not being perfect. Every creator starts somewhere and the learning process is part of the journey. So embracing imperfection and experimenting with different formats and topics would have accelerated my growth and would have helped me niche down earlier. Patience and persistence. YouTube success rarely happens overnight. I wish I had known the importance of staying consistent even when results seemed low. 
patience and persistence are essential for building a sustainable ch YouTube channel and this is something I learned the hard way. Despite the challenges and missteps, my YouTube channel has also been incredibly rewarding. I've learned a lot and there are definitely things I've done right. Strategies that have moved my channel forward and practices I would absolutely repeat if I were starting from scratch. Here are the key success strategies I'd embrace again. Find my niche passion early. Instead of experimenting with various and related topics, I would invest time upfront to discover the niche that truly excites me. By aligning my content and my passion, I'd be more motivated to create consistently and connect with an audience who shares my interest. But don't get me wrong, it does take time for most to really find their niche. So I still congratulate myself for taking action and started uploading my first video. So if you are on this path, just go ahead and get started. Many YouTube channel guru mentions that it would take at least 30 uploaded videos to realize which niche works for you and for your audience. I would focus on sharing my unique experiences, insights, and perspectives. Whether it's my faith journey, entrepreneurial endeavors, or personal development tips, I'd let my authentic voice shine through and continue to engage and connect with like-minded people. I realized that authentic people connect with realness and vulnerability. From the beginning, I'd prioritize interacting with my viewers, responding to comments, and fostering a sense of belonging. Building a community around my channel would not only provide valuable feedback, but also create a loyal following who support my growth. I wouldn't be afraid to experiment, try new formats, and make mistakes. Recognizing that every creator starts somewhere and that learning is an ongoing process would allow me to take risks, try new things, and ultimately accelerate my development. Instead of chasing views from unrelated channels or churning out mediocre content, I'd concentrate on creating high-quality videos that offer real value to my audience. I'd also establish a consistent upload schedule to keep my viewers engaged and coming back for more. And yes, when it comes for your YouTube channel to really grow, consistency is a must. So if you're looking to start a new channel or you have a channel and you're growing it, comment i'm ready to grow below and let's support each other and aside from the steps on growing your youtube channel or starting a youtube channel i wanted to inform you that i have an ongoing series on digital marketing in the series i talk about simple things we can do to market our products services engage audience or grow our social media following we've just started uploading the introduction video and more will be shared as soon as we're done editing them so please make sure to join our community and get the notification and back to my youtube channel story we all understand that starting a youtube channel can be incredibly rewarding but it's not always easy my biggest takeaway in starting this youtube channel is to take action if i had not started then i have nothing to grow now so if this video helped you give it a thumbs up subscribe for more tips also let me know in the comments what your biggest takeaway was thank you everyone this has been subtle breakthrough and till the next video have a nice day